Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves, the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. All right, with that out of the way, this is my first commentated Let's Play. So please, uh, you know, give me some wiggle room to adjust and to slowly begin to gain some confidence. If you don't like the commentary, I'm happy to go back to commentary less uh, gameplay videos. Um, so all we're going to do basically just. Oh. So I'm not going to be speaking during cutscenes. So when there's cutscenes. I'll be off. Music is a little bit loud. Alright, and we're back. So I've just had a root around. Uh settings. I'm going to be playing on basically high. I don't want to go ultra high until I know just how much uh, this is going to take out of my computer. Um, I could probably easily run at ultra high, but we'll find out. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's not much else really to do. So, uh, Oh, this will be at 1080p as well. Normally I'd do 4K, but uh, that takes way too long to upload and process. And I'd like to get these out roughly uh, within 12 to 24 hours. So, without it further ado, let's get into it. Playing a normal. Ugh! <gasps> 
You still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. <clears throat> and you used to be younger. And dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. Alright, so we are a pilgrim. And first thing I notice straight off the bat is Aiden's voice is very similar to Crane. And I don't know much about the story at all, but I have heard a few reasons, but as far as I can tell, he's not related to Crane in any way. I, I would have thought they would have chosen a voice actor like that intentionally, but I don't think so. Um, Shit, man. You're still strong. Yes, that's Spike. Looking beautifully grizzled. Textured. <laughs> Whoops. The sprint does not feel very responsive. Like it feels like I'm holding sprint and I can barely see. I mean, I don't even know if there is a sprint. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. How you been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, yeah, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Nobody there had heard of her. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, Look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here too. Oh, and there's probably melee attacks here. That's awesome. Alright. This um, forestry setting is fantastic. I hope we can come back here later. Yeah, this will do. Definitely different than the first dying light. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Alright. So, this is all fairly standard stuff, I imagine. Craft parts. Yep. Alright, we've got our first Steam Achievement. Not that that matters or anything like that. Um, hints. Do they have a... No, I thought they might have had like a... Uh, a not a beast area, uh, one, of the, one of the things. I want to see what Spike's been up to, basically. A bit of history on Aiden as well would be nice. Um, I guess we it. Come on, we're almost there. So I'll be trying not to talk when the characters are talking, but during cutscenes I'll be completely microphone off. So if there's any uh, background noises, I apologize. I don't live in a quiet house. This is it. Come on. There's um, shadows and... <laughs> Sun effects are amazing. Wow. <laughs> it's 
somebody had a nice crib. Just gotta test out real quick. Is there a sprint button? Or damn it, lock. I'll try to get through here. Right, so I think you, you run a full sprint all the time. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. As as I can tell. Maybe there's a perk for it later. Are you going to find another way in, or what? Sorry, Spike. Just, uh, looking for loot. Empty. the survivor sense a little bit less rickety and you know, it used to be quite hard to follow. What the? Hey, everything all right? Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you, and you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. All right. Uh, Spike's just uh, done a runner. It's pretty funny. There's nothing here. I don't know what their relationship is. I couldn't really tell you. Spike, in the last game, was... I don't know, he looked about 30, and now he looks about 60 something. Uh, I think it said, didn't it, 15 years or 20 years since the first one, since the Iran outbreak. But I wonder how he would here. Hopefully, we'll get some more details as to how that happened. Yeah, nothing in here. That's what they called art? I wonder if that's a collectible of some sort will unlock throughout the game. Oh no, okay, I see. It's just investigation points. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. sure you do, but that's a, a reference to uh, the uh, first, um, oh god, I'm having a mind freeze. The uh, the first zombie game of whatever it was called, who do you voodoo bitch with the guy on the stage and the uh, great cinematic. Party. Uh, but by then, the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. Dead Island. There we go. Sorry, I was having a mind freeze there. I've only just woken up, to be honest, because it's uh, pretty early here in Australia. It's not totally early, but when you're up at night doing not the recordings... Not a zip. It's quite early for you. Oh, I see. It's just a hiding spot. That's pretty cool. Hide area. So if there was zombies around, you can hide there and you won't be seen. It's definitely an appreciated new feature. So it's going to be basically a 100% let's play. I'm hoping that... Uh, Everyone who's viewing this is a bit like me. They like to see things fully done and collected. Um, I can't really stand when I you know, miss loot or collectibles, but I inevitably will. So if I do and you know about it, 
leave it in the comments. Um, I'm sure I can go, come back to these areas and find them. So. It's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. Said at the start of the game, I probably wasn't paying attention. But um, what state or country or I'm assuming we were probably here we're in America, but I also know the art actually. I just saw the uh, mountains, you know, thought Fallout 76 or like that. No, why would we be in America other than the American accents? they had each other. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. buddy for you a gift a gift from the heavens to be more accurate I've just found it by the owner's dead body may it be of more use to you here it's gone flat <laughs> look at you and your sophisticated palate drink who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Eh, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you.
Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly, he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <sighs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. <sighs> Maybe. Boom, something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected. And suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that Waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, <sighs> my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy, or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz, at dawn, the guy's waiting for you. Alright, so we finally heard Timmy back crying, which is fantastic. And whoops, who that is, but... Find out as Aiden does. I had a few people saying this game was uh, pretty badly optimized. You know, can't run 60 at all. But I haven't had any frame dips yet, and I'm running at. Uh, any frame dips yet, I'm running at very nearly the highest. <coughs> Not quite the highest, but. It just in case the rumors were right. Road tracing is on, just not on the highest settings. DLS or DLS S is in as well. Uh, it's on set to quality. I can totally hear someone running around. Pause in the menus. 
might be online unintentionally. Uh, crafting. First weapon, team med kit, and there is definitely something waiting to ambush me. Fill the building. Far from the city we are, so I really hope I can come back here at some point. Ah, uh, biters. the first game on a little bit recently, but um, it's definitely a pretty good game, especially to my old Great graphics for the time. But the mechanics, the, the running was not very good, but it was, it was odd. It wasn't near as edge, but it was, it was pretty good. <laughs>
Do they call biters now officially? Or are they called infected? I mean, in the first game they called them zombies, biters, infected, gnashes, <laughs> like crap. I don't know what, what exactly they're called now. Climbing takes stamina now, does it? That'd be intense. Getting chased by a volatile and running out of uh, climbing stamina now, not combat, but climbing stamina. I'm so sure that you can hear the sound of my mouse and keyboard. Not much. I might grab some sort of uh, I don't know, filter or pop filter or adjustment microphone settings to cut out back. I'm not sure. Uh, if it gets too annoying, please let me know and I'll definitely try and stop. Yeah, there's the city. So I'm hoping I can come back here pretty often. I do like this forestry type of area. It's not too much to do here by the looks of it, but I do. I just like the graphics. It's coming close to night time as well, which I love. <coughs> night time was always a fun part of the first game.
Okay. Got our first skill. Yeah, that'll be useful. Awesome. Um, increase the speed there. Look at that. Thought that'd be a sh uh, sprint button. Overall speed and mobility. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a skill. Thought that'd been given. All right. Tic tacs and wall runs. So there's no skills like the old game where you basically just increase flat out you know, climb speed and uh, your stamina and stuff. So I assume, oh look at, what does that say? 120 stamina required. So how do I get stamina? Oh, stamina skill. Assume, like I said, RPG system. So you equip gear that increases your around. Um... Oh no, it's more like God of War. Like, Three inhibitors and apply them in the skills menu. Okay. Definitely Almost there. Interesting. I think I can scale across this edge, but I don't know. It's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. Nah, it won't get any better than this. You'll be fine. Just stay out during the night. It's not that hard. Although there isn't a map anymore, so I can't exactly tell where to go. Yeah, my last game. Oh man, this one sucks. 
Broadcast station should be here somewhere. Old world audio. Oh, it's called old world. Someone moved them not long ago. It's been moved. Okay, let's give it a try. This is it, the broadcast station. too much yet. I'm just going to... Aiden, Aiden, my baby. 
freedom. Are we running or what? But, like, now? No, when we're <laughs> old. Now, AD. We need supplies. Everything's ready. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> You're stupid. Let's go. Now. Shh. It'll be all right. Wait here. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. Easy. Caesar. Even if they separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. Terry will be here any moment. Wait. Close your eyes. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. 
Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita. Alright, so we just had our flashback telling us who Waltz is. Uh, yeah, it was voice acting for children was alright, especially but the male Aiden took me a while to figure out this wasn't sort of a trippy drug dream, it was more like actual flashback. So this voice actor very clearly was a high pitched woman. It did not sound like a young boy at all. It was funny, but oh well. Um so this series is basically going to be chopped into parts. Normally, what's going to happen is I'm going to record a bulk, you know, three hours, four hours, and just cut them into hour-long episodes. Uh, so this is I'm going to be telling you this one this time. Normally, it's just going to cut to the next episode. So, uh, so you have you know, forewarning. This is where the cut's going to be made, but future on, it'll just be cut. And it'll just be like nothing ever happened. But, um, so yeah, see you next episode.